Hey you guys, <clears throat> I'm coming to you about to do a quick haul video. I just wanted to show you really, really quickly. This is my twist out. I just took out my two string twist that I had in for one month. I'm still on my six month growth challenge. Today is going to be wash day, and then I'll put in another protective style, um, you know, for a couple weeks, and then I'll update you again. <laughs> so quickly, I purchased some things. <clears throat> from a couple different places. I put them all in this bag. Um, I fell in love with this website, echomom.com. Really, really like it. I'm not a mommy yet, um, but I love the website because I am trying to be um, better about what I put in my body, not just what I put on my hair. Um, so I'm leaning more towards um, not necessarily 100% all natural organic products, but just better product choices, you know, not stuff with a bunch of crap in it. So, I love the Yes to Carrots line. Um, I use their conditioner. I'm not sorry, not their conditioner, their shampoo very often. And I found out that they actually have a skincare line. Um, so, I want to try it out. So, I purchased their makeup removing cleanser. Now, I don't use makeup that often, um, only on special occasions. And when I do use it, I have a tendency to fall asleep with my makeup. <laughs> um, and then when I do remove it, I really don't have anything to, I have a, this stuff that you're supposed to use to take off eyeshadow, but it's not meant for your whole face. And even though it's specifically for removing eyeshadow, it stings my eyes. So I don't use it anymore. So whenever I do <clears throat> remove my makeup, I'm really just taking like a washcloth that's moistened and scrubbing my face. And <clears throat> as you know, that's not take everything off. So I purchased this. Um, 99% natural, paraben free, and it's a makeup removing cleanser from the Yes Care line. I also got their daily moisture body lotions for your whole body. Um, this one's 97% natural, um, and all their products water is the first ingredient, of course. Um, and they just tell you that it's packed with beta carotene. Uh, powerful antioxidant that protects and nourishes skin at softeners like safflower and jojoba oil and your skin will be softer, happier, and nourished all over. I love their little explanations of their products, whatever. Anyways, I also got the exfoliating cleanser. Um, it also has finely ground bamboo in it. <clears throat> this is 95% natural. And I don't have an exfoliator and I don't think I've ever had one. Um, I watched Miss Vaughn's videos and one of her videos saying how she gets her skin to look so nice is because she exfoliates no more than twice a week, um, but she does it every single week. And so I said, okay, well, let me get an exfoliator and see what happens. I also got the Repairing Night Cream. Um, it nourishes dry skin, has vitamin E for healing and hydrating. I do not, I, I have combination skin. I have, my T-zone is very oily, but other areas of my, well, my, my, my face is complicated. Obviously, you know, here is the T-zone. But sometimes, my cheeks, you know, my pores are enlarged, and they get very dry, and they start to peel. But other times, they're like super, super shiny, you know, like even after I wash my face, you know, they're still, after a couple hours, it's, you know, there's, it's oily. So, I don't know, but this part of my face is always dry. This is always dry, and out here is pretty much always dry. Um, <clears throat> but this nourishes the skin. It's not just uh, moisture for dry skin. So that's why I got this. <clears throat> what else? Um, I also got the Gentle Milk Cleanser. This is for sensitive skin. This is from the Yes to Cucumbers line. And... Um, I heard great stuff about this. It has soy proteins um, and green tea. And this was 98% natural. Hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and not irritating. I think, obviously I'm going to use this one every day, but um, I think I'll probably like that one the best. I also got the um, Just For Mom deodorant. I watch uh, Those Girls Are Wilds YouTube channel. And she really got me to thinking about 
examining my products and finding out what's in them. And I found that most deodorants have aluminum in there. And aluminum is a carcinogen. Um, and the thing is that in small doses, it's supposed to be healthy. Not, not healthy. It's supposed to be safe. They're saying you more likely will not get cancer if you use within the recommended amount. Um, and I just don't want to take any chances. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, um, that's just not something that, that, that I want to do with my body. And I was unaware um, that aluminum was even in it and that it was a big deal that it was in it. Um, so yeah, I got this deodorant. It's made for pregnant women. It's supposed to be super safe, uh, super all natural, um, and you don't because underneath your arm is like the most porous part of your body. It's super sensitive, um, and it soaks up everything that you put on it. So you really want to make sure that you're putting safe stuff in there. And anything that they specifically say that mothers to be can use it, you know, <laughs> it's got to be pretty safe. And so it's fragrance free, BPA free plastic. Um, it's supposed to last 24 hours. You're supposed to spray it five times under your arm or on your feet uh, as needed. And um, I said I'm definitely going to try it out. Um, I, I normally use Dove. My skin is kind of sensitive underneath my arms. I'm prone to breakouts underneath there, which completely stopped when I started using Dove. And I've been using that for years now. Um, but this, I'm, I'm really interested in trying and see because I, I work, you know, I work hard. I'm active duty and I want to see if it holds me, um, then I'm definitely going to continue to use it because, I mean, it's all natural. How can you just ruin it? And it's not that expensive. It's really, it was like six bucks. And then I got my grapeseed oil from Napa Valley Naturals. Um, Sister with Real Hair, this is what she uses on her hair and when I tell you her hair is long and gorgeous and she flat irons like more than once a month and her hair is still waist length and thick and gorgeous so I'm like okay I'm trying to see what she doing <laughs> because I wear protective styles almost year round so I'm like if I get on this gig I mean who knows <laughs> what heights will go to so anyways yeah I never used grapeseed oil before um, I mostly use coconut oil or like kind of a prepackaged, uh, you know, do grow oil, the Doctor Miracles oil, or something like that. Um, but I don't know. The past few months, I've been really, really getting back to just using coconut oil. So I'm gonna try this out and see how I like it. Um. But like I said, I got that from the website Napa Valley Naturals, and that big bottle I got for like four dollars and some change. <laughs> I also got some stuff from Ulta.com. I got the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in caramel. And I got the Fit Me 350 powder from Maybelline New York. Um, I got this in the same color, caramel. And I also got, I haven't tried either one of these out. Like I said, I don't wear makeup that often. Um, but when I do wear it, I want it to look nice, have a bit more coverage than what I use now. I don't know if you can see that. I think, I think it blends pretty well. Like you almost can't see it. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't really wear makeup, so I don't know. <laughs> but we'll find out when I do my whole face. And I got this cover stick concealer stick from also from Maybelline. I got this um, Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer from L'Oreal Paris. And all these things I read the product reviews on the website. I only purchased things that have really really good product reviews from other users. So, And I got um, the High Definition Eyeshadow Base from NYX. I always say NYX, but when I watch makeup tutorials, everybody says NYX, so that's what I say now. <laughs> I also got um, this white eye pencil, like eyeliner from Kajal Pencil. I don't know who the freak that is, but this was only like a dollar ninety nine cents, and it had awesome reviews. So I got that, and I got the same one, but in black. And. 
I got these um, infallible lip glosses from L'Oreal Paris, the 8 hour lip glosses. This color is Mirror Underneath. Is that the name of it? No. <laughs> oh, they're telling me there's a mirror underneath it. Okay, just kidding. It's called Pink Topaz. Let me see. This, these are normally on the website. It's at like $6.99. But these, like three of their colors were on sale for $1.99. So I got two. I don't know if you can see that. But I think that's really pretty. And then the same thing, but I got it in Glistening Berry. I'm going to put this one on my lips because I think this one is pretty. Let's see. Hope so. Yeah, that's perfect. When I um, order online, I looked at it and I was like, is that burgundy? Like, is that going to be too dark? So don't wear lipstick. I don't like really intense colors on my lip. I don't know. I feel crazy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> this is perfect. It's just a splash of color. Oh, and it feels super, super uh, smooth on my lips. That feels really nice. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> I, I tasted it. It doesn't taste good. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. That's my mini haul. Um. I'm going to try out uh, all of it. I was about to say the majority of it. I, oh, no. I have one more thing. I went to... Where did I put it? Oh, yeah. I also went back to the beauty supply store. And it got a contouring brush. I didn't know what kind of brush I was supposed to get to put on that liquid um, or mousse foundation. So, I just got this. They, the rest of them said blush brushes, eyeshadow brush. None of them said foundation brush. Right, so I got this. <laughs> the one of the videos I saw, she said to get a stipling brush, but I didn't see that, so I got this. I also got these cutie patootie earrings. Can you see those? I think those are so pretty. I love studs. And I got these. I think those are super super cute, especially these bigger ones. I think those look really nice. I love studs. And I got this headband and I got I bought a wig I bought a wig because I have that semi-permanent semi -permanent hair dye and I'm kind of nervous I don't know how it's going to turn out and if the color takes too much I can't wear it to work like the uniform you have to wear realistic colors or whatever you know, whatever the rigs are retarded Anyway, so I bought a wig uh, for one as a protective style, but also just in case the color comes out crazy and I can't wear it to work. So this is what the wig looks like. It is not this color. It's a black. It's in 1B. This is just what the chick looks like. So I'm not about to put it on my head right now. And I'll do a quick video um, whenever I actually wear it, just so you can see what it looks like. And that is it. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Um, I'm going to do my wash tomorrow. I'm going to my brother's, he's swearing in today. He's joining the army. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll splice some of that in this video. I don't know. But, um, so that's why I'm wearing my twist out out today. Um, normally I wouldn't wear it, um, you know, the whole day out. I would go ahead and do my wash. But because I'm going to do that today... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wear this and then I'll do my wash tomorrow and I'll let you guys see. Peace.